<laughs> I've got bedhead on television, all right. <clears throat> my next guest. What the hell? My next guest has appeared in such films as The Departed in 15 Minutes. Now you can see her in the new movie, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Please welcome Vera Farmiga. <laughs> Good Lord, you are, uh, you look beautiful. You Thank are you. very pregnant. How far along are you? Uh, about eight months. Eight months, mm. wow. Okay, how, you're feeling all right? It's wild, it's, it blows my mind. I mean, there's a naked human inside me. It'd be weirder if he was not naked. <laughs> Born wearing a tuxedo. Uh, I love it, I, mean, I, I could do this. This is your first? Yeah, and I could do it every single day for the rest of my life. Do what? <laughs> This. Oh, oh you uh, carry. You'd like. You'd be happy carrying a child the rest of your. People are just warmer. They're friendlier. They're more generous. They're. You know. You. They're. You, they're solicitous. You, they hold the door. They ask, "How are you?" They, you've got all these new parts, and they just. They just want to jiggle your jubblies. They just. <laughs> want Who to wants to jiggle your jubblies? <laughs> that sounds like an invasion. I'm, yeah. Uh, well, uh, first of all, are you ready for the big day? Do you have a birth plan? You got to have a birth plan these oh, days. God. You mean, yeah, I'm ready. I, well, I mean, like, have I taken breathing for dummies and... Well, you know, now it used to be people just, they, they, got, they got pregnant and then they had the, they were in a log cabin, they had the baby and that was it. Now there's all this, no, you have to have a plan and it's you must true. consult with different people about what's your plan. It's and... true. I, I, I pre-registered at the hospital the other day and, and, and they, they asked me for it and, um, and uh, I <laughs> plan, I mean, yeah. he's inside me. Right. And he needs to come out. Right. <laughs> right, that should be it, right? And, and that's the plan, Stan, and <laughs> as quick as possible. No, I've had a lot of guests here that have said, no, I want to be submerged underwater. I've had actresses tell me that I want to be partially underwater so the baby can enter an aquatic environment. I'm like, what are you, you don't want that to be a child's first moment, thinking I'm a fish. I didn't know. <laughs> Uh, what, 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 do you, are you gonna do what, anything a little, uh, a little strange? Well, well she looked pretty... at me like I was totally Ill, unprepared. She said, right. young lady, you better go home and you better think of a plan. And I said, no, okay. And, and so I start combing the internet and there's so many choices you do have to make. Yeah. And, um, you know, and, and, and there's one unusual one where I, I came across in, in my neck of the woods and, you know, I live with tree huggers and fairies. And, you, you, you live and, on, a, on a farm. Yeah, 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 and um, and it's not so unusual, I guess, in in, in my neck of the woods. But you, you've heard of um, placentophagy, yeah. I know what the placenta is. I don't know what it's, placentophagy it's, is. It's practiced by most mammals in the animal kingdom, and it's the it's it's the act of eating. Eating the placenta. Yes, and it was because it's in most cultures, even other than ours, it's it's respected for 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 for, for as a, as a tremendous life force and has medicinal value. And I mean. I'm a great cook, but like. What, well, uh, what so yeah, you, I mean, this is. But I mean, for you, you, you hear about life, about birth plan. You think, ah, I'm not into that kooky stuff. And then you're like, yeah, but I would eat the placenta. That seems, that's that's pretty far out there, isn't it? And like, what condiments do you use? I mean, are you really thinking of doing that seriously? This, um, this my husband's one staunch stipulation: like, don't make me eat. Yes, the that's placenta. a good man. You married the right guy. I, you married the right guy. And please don't trick him either. Don't be, you know, like, it's good lasagna. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. You're not like, supposed to eat it wet. I think you have to dehydrate it, put it in an oven, and like treat it as like a piece of kombucha. And then. It, what? Uh, but I'm not doing any of that. I, How I, about I little chunks in a cookie? You know, <laughs> I mean, uh, it just sounds like uh, you can do whatever you want, but the whole thing sounds weird totally to me. Totally yuck. Yeah, but... I wouldn't do it. But, but there's, you know, you can do other things with it. There's placenta art. You can just, like, finger painting, hand painting turkeys at Thanksgiving. You just... Who makes placenta art? Is that a real thing that people do? They throw it up against a white piece of canvas and it sticks and then, and then you've got to be... I could do that with a dead cat. I mean, I don't know that that's art. <laughs> you can do that with anything, you know? Pumpkin pie splat. Ugh. 50 oh. bucks, give it to me. Uh... <laughs> well, uh, whatever choice you make, I respect it. <laughs> Cuckoo. Uh... <laughs> I don't, think, I, don't think now, I, I don't feel malnourished, so I, I don't think <laughs> Good, good, yeah. Indulge. Just have a protein shake. and uh, <laughs> um, But everything else is good. This is your yeah. first you're going to have. It's uh, my first. It's very yeah. exciting. Yeah. 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 And, you know, you were very nice. Just on, a, on a, uh, just a quick personal note, when you were first starting out, 
as an actress years ago used to come on our show yeah, and, and do little did. bits in the background and as an extra so yeah, it was my second job I first had I was an air conditioning technician first and then you gave me my second job yeah, right. out of college we usually get people right after air conditioning technician yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what I did first uh, well I want to mention also the boy in these striped pajamas uh, is is in theaters oh, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing film it's it's an extremely powerful film and, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's it's unforgettable. It's a it's a story about um, two little boys. It's a fictional film that takes mm -hmm. place in the hol living history of the Holocaust, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's about a little boy named German boy named Bruno and a, a Jewish boy named Shmuel, and it's their unlikely friendship across the barbed wire of a concentration camp. Where did you shoot it? You shot it in, in, in Hungary, in, in Budapest. Hungary. Mm -hmm. Was that your first time? You must have spent a long time there. Uh, yeah, we shot for two months. Yeah. Well, a lot of people are talking about this film, The Boy mm. in the Striped Pajamas. It's in theaters right now. Vera, good luck with everything. Really Thank nice you. to see you again, and congratulations. Thank you. Vera Farmig, everybody. We'll be right back. Romeo is on the show. We'll see you in a second.